Whether it was Psycho, Peach Dragon, or Star Wars, everyone has a movie that they'll never forget seeing on the big screen. And in 1937, when the Grand Theater started, people were watching in seats like these. What we love about the Grand is it's a big chunk of our history here in town. The historic theater's charm and infrastructure is preserved by volunteers. The history, the beauty, um, it, it's what going to movies should be. Regular moviegoers come for the old-fashioned seats and color scheme that they've known since childhood. No comparison to the big theaters. We love the nostalgia and it's, it's like coming home, you know. <laughs> Before the Grand, the Lida Theater used to operate in its location. And they used to decorate it up in themes for the movies. This one about, was about Robinson Crusoe and you can see they had kind of like a hut they'd make but it's really made out of corn stalks. David Kaufman and Henry Stiller bought the Lida in 1930 and called it the Little Grand. During remodeling in 1936, a fire destroyed the new theater's first interior. After the setback, they finished the Grand Theater in 1937. The sign is an exact copy of the old one, and we even had these things duplicated. All these are glass tiles, and we spent almost three quarters of a million redoing this. People can rewind through the timeline in the Grand Theater's museum. Just around the corner is the office of Wally Kemp, who managed the theater in its glory days. He always had promotions going. There was always something to draw people to the Grand, whether it was uh, contests in the street or parades. The Fridley Corporation bought the Grand in 1992 and ran it for 12 years. Then business owners formed the Grand Foundation to save Grand Island's beloved theater. Art Deco theaters, you don't see a lot of them around the country anymore, and in a lot of places they're just renovating them up to look modern. Now the Grand Foundation uses donations and relies on volunteers to keep movie magic alive in downtown Grand Island. We just love the atmosphere. Families can come. It doesn't break the bank. They can get popcorn pop and treats. If you would like to come experience the historic Grand Theater, they show movies on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And tickets are only $5. For Pure Nebraska, I'm Grace McDonald.